Okay, so the Pelican 1510 is one of my all time favorite pieces of equipment. But the real question is, can this new Manfrotto Pro Lite Cine Loader actually challenge it and convince me to put my gear and this puppy over my old trusty Pelican case. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this bag offers and if it's up to the challenge. Oh, hey, and do me one favor. If you found this video useful, do me a favor and please hit that like and subscribe button. It is unbelievably hard to keep a channel like this up and going and your subscriptions actually don't cost anything and they make such a huge difference in me being able to go out there and keep bringing you content like this. Okay, there's no doubt that one of the most important pieces of equipment you will ever buy is not gonna be your camera, it's not gonna be your lights, it's not gonna be the lens. It's actually gonna be the bags and storage devices that you keep them all in. And so and your bags themselves actually, as you do this job long enough, become an investment themselves. You're gonna spend a lot of money on these bags. And the good thing is, your bags and cases will probably outlive the gear that you put them in there. So investing in good gear is something absolutely critical. And Manfrotto has come out with this right here. This is the Manfrotto Pro Light Cine Loader Large. And this is their newest foray into the bag world. And I think it's got a lot of cool things that actually have really surprised me as I've taken a look at it. Now, full disclosure, Manfrotto did send me a bag to just check out and review. I'm not getting paid for this. They don't get to review or see this in any way, shape, or form. They just sent me a bag and wanted to give you my honest opinion, and that's what I'm going to do. Now, the ProLite Cine Loader has a really interesting configuration that you'll notice right as soon as you see it. The first thing is that it actually combines this kind of hard and soft materials all into one really sturdy construction. And when I say that, like one of the things that I was really impressed with that I haven't seen very often is the fact this may be a soft case, but it's rigid. And check this out, it's got a flat and it's got a rigid top. That means you can actually take this and stack other cases on top of it, which you're on a set is going to be something that inherently happens. And what I love about this is you know you can put a case on this and all your stuff is going to be very, very safe. The other thing is they kind of have a honeycomb configuration inside the bag. So even though it has this soft material, the whole bag itself is very rigid. You know that the stuff that's in there is going to be very protected. Now, the main benefit of creating a bag like this is it actually allows you to save a ton of weight on the bag. That means that you can have a bag that lets you get a full-on cinema camera kit in here, but it's going to be much, much lighter than your typical case. This makes it a great light running gun case that you can throw a fully kitted camera in get out there, throw in your car, and get out. The other thing is the nylon itself is actually water resistant. So if you're out there in the rain getting stuff like that, you know that your gear is going to be protected. And on the bottom of the case itself, it actually has its own separate kind of waterproofing here. So if you put this in a puddle, if you put it in mud, if you put it in dirt, your gear is going to be protected. So even though it's a soft case, it gives you a lot of the protection that you see in harder style cases. It's obviously not gonna protect your stuff to the level that a Pelican case is, but for all practical pur purposes, unless you're standing in typhoons or you're in a boat getting stuff drenched, this will be more than enough to protect your gear. Now, all that being said, let's talk about what actually makes this bag intriguing and very, very useful, and that is its scalability and its flexibility. <laughs> this thing really, really allows you to stretch your legs and configure it in a lot of interesting ways. If I open the top here, you're gonna see that the Cinelator comes with a really nice array of storage and configurations options. And this allows you to basically maximize your bag in any shape you need to do it. Whatever you need to put in there, you can probably find a way to put it in there. Now the bag does come with an internal M guard Velcro divider system already in it, which is actually a really nice benefit for this bag because a lot of bags you have to buy this as a separate thing, especially say in Pelican cases. Now what this does is this allows you to kind of set up your internal setup for this in whatever works for you. And if you look at this M guard system, one thing I think that's really interesting, it does have Velcro, but most systems are just kind of like a solid block. And this one actually lets you configure it. So you can wrap around things, you can form more simple shapes or small shapes like that, or you can do full length across. It gives you a lot of flexibility for however you want to set up your system. And then you just get in there, you can put it in there, and then basically it's a Velcro system you can have it set up however you want. Now the modification system is nice, but the, it is the size of this thing that has actually made this something I've really, really been enjoying it on the last several shoots that I had. And really what I wanna do is I wanna talk about this. This thing is so deep that I can take my red Komodo, I can have a lens, I can have a kit, I can have everything in there, and I can just pull it right out. When I'm done with the shoot, I can pop it off my sticks, I can take it and set it right back in. That means that I'm not having to take out 
different cases and configuring when I'm out there. So this case has a lot of space in it. It's about 21 inches long internally, and it's about 10 inches wide, and it got to about 11 inches deep here to give you a lot of options for putting cameras in there. You can put FX9s in there, you can put Red Komodos, you name the system C500s, you can put them in here, and you're gonna be able to basically not have to take out your camera and configure them all. That is a huge, huge thing on your set, especially when you're going, you're always running for time, and honestly, I'd rather spend more time dialing in my lights than building my camera. And having a system like this that can move and securely keep my camera safe, but configured and already pre-built, that just is such a nice psychological thing when I get on set. Now, when I was talking about flexibility, you know, I'm talking about the dividers, I'm talking about the height that you put a fully kitted camera in here, but the pockets on this thing are awesome. They are something that adds a incredible amount of value. Now, if you look here, this thing actually has a ton of pockets in it. It's actually got a big pocket here in the front. And as you can see, it's got clear windows. So you can see the stuff that's in here. It's got one large pocket and it's got two smaller pockets. Now this pocket here is a clear. And if you look here, it actually has another pocket here that is actually, I can't even reach down there all the way because I'm doing it, but that's a nice deep pocket. So you got three deep pockets right here on the top. What I also like is if you look in the front, there is another pocket here in the front. I'll open that up so you can take a look at it. And as you can see, it's nice and deep and it's got three subdividers in there as well for maximum input. They have got on the side, each side of the bag has an additional zipper. So you got two more pockets on the sides. And as you can see, pretty deep. You can put your stuff in there, lots of flexibility. One on this side as well, which I thought was really nice. And on the back, just because there wasn't enough, you actually have one more bag here, one more pocket back here. And as you can see, it's a nice big pocket. And this pocket on the back has one more hidden feature that I think, yeah, man, you're just gonna use it on every piece of gear. And that is this, if you look in the back here, you will see this little flap. And this flap is an air tag container. So what you can do is you can put your air tag in there and know where your gear is. I know for me, every single Pelican case that I currently have has an air tag in there. And I love that they thought far enough ahead to know that if you have gear in here, you're probably gonna wanna keep it tracked. And the fact that you can put the air tag in there that easy, mm, really, really nice little touch. Really, really excited to see that. I know it's small, but I'm a simple guy, what can I say? Now, in addition to all that, on the back, you also have this strap right here. What the strap allows you to do is it allows you to, if you have uh, something that has a pull-on handle, you can actually slip this through that pull-on handle. Or if you wanna go more vertical, you can put this vertical and use these straps here and strap these two things that have handles. So if you have like a wheeled Pelican case and you wanna slip this on there, you can easily do that as well. So really, really flexible, fantastic when you're going through airports. It's one of those features you don't think about, but you definitely wanna use because you're gonna use it pretty much all the time. And one last thing I would like to mention, this is a simple thing, but handles are important to me and I love side handles. I find when I'm, especially when I'm moving through airports and loading in cars, I am going to want to have a side handle and it has, as I have here, a shoulder strap, which I find really nice to have. You can take this on and off, super easy. In addition, there's also a strap here you can put on the top through this webbing on the top. And what that does is that actually allows you, you can actually hook a tripod to this if you wanna do that and you wanna be a super, super concise, tight one man gang kind of thing. So all in all, I've been really impressed with this bag. I've taken it with me on a couple of shoots and it's held up really, really well. You can see it still looks pretty much as good as the day I got it. And I just love how flexible it is. Now, whenever I do do a review of something, I do like to point out if there are any cons that you should be aware of because those are the things I'd wanna know before I get something. And I don't wanna have a huge amount of cons to this bag. Really, the biggest con I would say to this bag is that it doesn't have any wheels on it. I have gotten used to having wheels on my Pelican 1510s. And when you have a bag this size, it is nice to have wheels. That being said, having the straps on the back that I can't put this on the wheeled vehicles are nice. And, you know, honestly, the way I move this has just been out of vehicles and into sets and stuff. So that hasn't been that big of a thing, but wheels, whenever you have a big case, is always nice. That's probably the biggest drawback I would say to this case. Everything else I've been really, really impressed with. I was a little bit worried when I first got this about the kind of the softness of it, if it would hold out. But man, this thing is rigid and I've really been beating it up when I've had it, taking it on some real shoots, real world conditions and it held up great. I never for a second worried about this thing holding up for 
my shoot and what I was out there doing that. So that wasn't really something that I was concerned about. Now, the real question really comes down based on all this, you know, is this case right for you? And I do wanna just do what I said I was gonna start at the beginning, and I do wanna compare this to this Pelican 1510, because this is kind of what I would consider sort of the industry stalwart of what most of us out there using camera equipment are. And there are definite benefits to this one versus the Pelican and vice versa. And I think it's one of those things, if you're looking and thinking about it, you should probably realize what you're getting into. Now, the first thing is when you look at these is going to be the size. I do see that the Pelican case is slightly smaller than this uh, case. That being said, this, this size is actually really, really close. I put them kind of literally right in front of each other, just like that. And you can see from the side, this one's a little bit wider, but you can see the height is exactly the same height. I can actually kind of mask them from each other as you can see. So the height on the side is exactly the same. And if I put this on its side, you know, the Pelican does lie a little bit flatter. If I put it up on its side, it's the same height. So when it comes to getting this in and out of your vehicle, I found just using lots of Pelican cases and using this, pretty much you're close enough in size, you're not gonna notice a difference. If you're flying enough, I don't know if this will get in an airport bin, I have to look that up, but Right now, I know a Pelican case will get an airport bin. I don't know about this one. Now, the next thing that I would look at in an apples to apples comparison is going to be the price. Now, it would appear initially that the Pelican case is cheaper. It starts off at $252 versus $319 for this Manfrotto. But that price is a little deceptive because if you wanna get the dividers that come as part of the price, no extra cost in the Manfrotto, you're gonna to have to get the track pack divider system for this case. And that's gonna immediately jump the price up to $350 for this Pelican case. And if you want pockets, not even as many pockets as you get in there, but if you just want an additional pocket addition that you can get here, that's another $31. So to get these two cases similar in kind of specs, the Pelican case is gonna be $381 versus $319. So the Manfrotto case actually does come up cheaper in the long run than the Pelican case. The other factor you have to look at these cases is yes, the Pelican case is sturdy. It's going to protect your gear. It's going to last forever. These are great cases. But what I can't do in Pelican cases is I can't just take my gear and pop it out and pop it in. This ability to quickly pop it in is such a huge thing when you're doing it on a set that in my Pelican cases, I don't have the height in this 1510. And you can get bigger Pelican cases, but I've always found for me personally, when I get bigger than the 1510, it just gets so cumbersome and big to try and haul around in my vehicle. I don't want something bigger than a 1510. And this case for Manfrotto is just big enough that it lets me do what I want without destroying all the space in my car. Now, don't get me wrong, I love my Pelican cases. I'm not going to get rid of my Pelican cases because I can use them for tons of things. But when it comes down to camera and other gear, I really, really thinking this Manfrotto Pro light center loader, or the large one, is something that's going to come and become a very, very important part of my arsenal. I love the fact that it can do it. And as much as I hate to say it, man, I really think I found a replacement for my Pelican case when it comes to my cinema bag for gear. Hard to believe, but I'm really, really impressed with what this bag can do. Anyway, guys, I'd love to hear what you have to say with this. Leave me any notes and comments down below. And yeah, go out there, keep on shooting, and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon.